All right, the boys are gonna try kale chips for the first time. Is this one? Yeah, taste it. What you think? Fair try, Caleb. Ah. <laughs> What'd you say? Yes. <laughs> What'd you think, Caleb? <laughs> hmm? Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. You guys want to get it again? <laughs> the war on me continues and I am an unwilling participant in this process. Now, I have to find something called Beyond Meat. Can you believe that? Seriously? Beyond Meat? It's real. Beyond Beef. I didn't think it was possible. But it is. Beyond beef. Beyond beef. Seriously? Vegans must be stopped. I'm calling all omnivores and carnivores. Let's rise up and unite, guys. This is the kind of propaganda I'm talking about. This Beyond Beef says, Carnivore Encore. People love meat, and so do we. That's why we set out to build a better meat. Stop, stop, stop. So a little birdie told me Kenya was talking bad about my Beyond Beef. But you know what? When I discovered it, it was kind of cool because I really liked spaghetti and I couldn't have spaghetti and meatballs. I've never really made meatballs, meatballs, but I like a little turkey meat in my spaghetti, so I made my spaghetti with the Beyond Beef in there and it's really good. This is what it looks like. Doesn't that look good? See, I'm able to put everything. I like to put a little extra tomato, Italian tomato in it, green pepper, onion, and some seasonings in it, mushrooms. It is delicioso. So, Kenya, whatever. You was talking bad about my Beyond Beef? Vegan propaganda. <laughs> I'm not buying into it. <laughs> There's nothing better than a real cow. Well, in this instance, we eat turkey meat, so, but it's still living. My friend, <laughs> my daughter, my ace. What do you think about Beyond Beef? What it tastes like? Yeah. It doesn't taste like anything. Those are fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> you on your father's side? Yes. It really? Just crumbles in your mouth because it's made out of plants and stuff. It doesn't hold up. Well, just falls apart. Like this relationship? <laughs> it's over. <laughs> this is not really a debate with Kenya and I. You know, actually, me. Some people wouldn't really call me a vegan even because some people really do it for the sake of the animals. They are animal rights advocates, and they believe that animals are our friends and we're not supposed to eat them. <laughs> We gonna keep this. We not gonna edit it out. <laughs> I don't know what they be doing. <laughs> As I was saying, some people feel like animals are our friends, and that we are not supposed to eat animals, and so they don't wear leather. They don't use any products that are tested on animals. So their makeup is vegan. They don't, you know, they don't wear anything that has anything to do with animals. They call it cruelty free. So I'm not technically a vegan in that way. The advocacy part of it. <laughs> I, I don't even know He's what you're doing. He's officially over, people. Kaya singing. She never sings for me if she knows I'm listening. As you can tell, it stopped. Kaya is conditioning her hair right now with that coconut milk that we got the other night at Walmart. 
And what she tends to do is finger rake. Her hair is really thick. So when she has her conditioner in, she finger combs her hair to detangle it. Some people uh, wash and, and condition in braids. With her, that's not really necessary. I find that that works out pretty nicely. And um, it'll make her hair really soft. And we leave it on for a little while. And so tonight, I don't know, we might leave it out or I might just kind of pull it up. But that's how we get some good conditioning going on in Kaya's hair. And for all of the naturals, you know the struggle is real to keep your hair conditioned and moisturized. So we try and make sure she takes good care of her locks. Now me, when I um, do my hair, my hair is a lot thinner than Kaya's. So um, maybe one time I haven't figured out how to do the camera thing. And while I'm doing my hair, it's kind of hard to maneuver the camera. But my hair is not as thick and it takes to moisture very well, unlike hers. And so I, my process is a whole lot simpler, but she and I have figured out some cool things that work on her hair. So I just try and keep their hair as healthy as I can. We love our natural hair around here and just try and take care of the good, what? Of what the good Lord gave us. All right, I'm making spaghetti. spaghetti again today because it was so good yesterday and I've got leftovers so mmm yummy like a little afro puff turn around a little bit she makes her own little bow she put a little bow in it but I just pulled it up with a little bit of eco styler with argon oil if you were with us the other night when we went to Walmart you saw that we couldn't find the eco styler that she likes to use in her hair so we had to get it from Sally's but there you go we are done and off to see grandma and Sam <laughs> All right, we are getting close to mom's. I'm excited about seeing the family and everybody. You know how it is when family leaves and moves away. For my sister, it's been a little over a year and you get to see them again. It's always really wonderful. I wish we had better weather for them. They're from North Carolina. That's where they're coming from. And yesterday, which was Sunday, it was snowing for a little bit. You thought I was playing in the previous vlog when I said I was glad it wasn't snowing. It was snowing yesterday, so it gets pretty cold here, and uh, the weather does not care that it is May. But anyway, I am just happy to be able to spend time with them and to let you in on our special time together. Come on. Yes, my girls. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? You can't have no food mm. either. Why you never find none for cheese without cheese? Oh. Hold on, where is that? Said she's gonna show me a picture of a vegan burger. Mm hmm That's for you. <laughs> is that lettuce and tomato? You better know. That In is so pan. ignorant. <laughs> That's is right. this what you do with my yeah, vegan just, struggle? I just came across it and made me think about you. You a jerk. What you doing now? Nah, and this is for you. You don't get none of the extras. <laughs> you even eat spinach? <laughs> you being funny? No. What happened, Alicia? Nothing. <laughs> is that cottage cheese? Cottage mm -hmm. spinach dip calls for sour cream. I'm so. Did you buy cottage cheese by accident? I was supposed to get sour cream, and I got cottage cheese, and I wanted to slap. The end is me. I got attitude. Okay, so Alicia was making the family spinach dip. One of the most important dishes in our oh, family. Oh, wash your mouth. No. Ha <laughs> ha. for that. It called for sour cream. So she put sour for me. Yeah, she put sour cream. 
She put cottage cheese in the spinach dip. Oh. So now we have to go to the store to clean up. Um, well, she messed up. Oh. Oh. Starting this dip over again. I want to clean up. What I messed up. Okay, so we are at Tops Friendly Let's Markets. Let's try this again. <laughs> Trying this again. Alicia, what are we here to get, sweetie? We're proud of cheese. <laughs> Sorry She's for still playing. Wait, I need a card. What? what? Time about Hi, I should sue Tops because this is too close to sour cream. Not as cheap as you close the side. Because you should suit up. Yes. That's a mess. Being with family is fun, unpredictable. It is going to be a late night. And so, because my days begin at 4 30 in the morning, I am going to be so tired tomorrow. But Shantae leaves out, I think, at about 4 30 or 5. She and Rafiq and the kids, Shia and Jaria are going back to North Carolina. So I think I'm gonna have to just suck it up. Pray for me. Alicia needs Jesus. She prayed for her. I don't even want to come back. She prayed for her. Pray for me in your spare time. into helping purchase um, this. Wait, you didn't get the chips. What's it? I don't want any chips. Oh, here. Yeah. I don't want any chips. I don't want any. Thank you. No thanks. They are two dollars. <laughs> they are forcing me. These are supposed to be like forty cents. To contribute to the. I don't need to eat this one. Oh, yeah. Is that fair? You think that's fair? Yes. You better feed your sister. <laughs> How much am I to pay for this little top of it? Yeah. Oh, ho hos Lord, give me strength. You like chocolate cupcakes. cupcakes. Mm. Really? Yeah. I think some stuff is just better when you know you can't eat it.
Alicia tried to leave me, baby. Let's see, is this cottage cheese? Yeah, yeah that looks good. good, though. Mommy, these are my cheese. Yeah, I'm going to eat this. 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 Y
Do you see Kenya in the shop? Nope. So you know who really loves you. This is a shot of your fake best friend. <laughs> Say hi, Kenya. <laughs> Why do you have my yellow scarf? Hey babe, I didn't try this kale. Should I do it? Yes. Okay. All right. Ready? This is what it looks like. Can you see that? I don't really want to try it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not eating it. It stinks. <laughs> you got it all over your mouth. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, you got green stuff all over your mouth. This is not good. Here, babe. Solidarity. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What do you think? Tastes like old earwax. <laughs> be eating earwax for let's try it one more time <laughs> no it's disgusting the first time we can try it twice <laughs> mm -mm. that makes no I'm sorry. sense if you are watching this and you know of kale chips that are good that you think maybe i should try a specific brand tell me in the description box below otherwise it's over for kale chips yeah disgusting so that's the verdict folks this is really goodbye okay see ya